What is more frustrating is that the promises made in Paris, very few countries respected them. Very few countries uh, have uh, um, uh, fully uh, implemented what they had promised in Paris in relation to their own economies and to their own societies. And so we are off track. And so uh, uh, we see the climate uh, uh, deteriorating everywhere. I mean, we see temperatures rising. We see concentrations of greenhouse gases increasing. We see glaciers melting, the Arctic uh, uh, in a very dramatic situation. Uh, we see floods, hurricanes, but drought uh, impacting dramatically, especially with the most vulnerable countries and populations. It's unfair. Those that contribute more to climate change are not those that are paying the high highest price. It's the poor people in the poor countries that are paying the highest price. Uh, and this is frustrating. Now, in the middle of this frustration, there is a signal of hope. What is the hope? Is that people finally understood that we are going in the wrong direction. And uh, we saw the youth mobilizing everywhere. We saw the public opinions uh, gaining uh, um, uh, strength uh, in pushing for climate action. We see the business community understanding that it doesn't make sense to have uh, their money in stranded assets that have no future. It's the green economy that has future, not the brown economy. So uh, if you have uh, your investments in coal, you will be losing money in the future. If you have your investments in the green economy, in uh, solar, you'll be making money in the future. And then governments uh, uh, started to understand that we really need to change course.